This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is an Omnimed brand, Patient Security Cabinet. It was sent to me by Todd in Portland, and I think he just wanted to see how I would react to a $285 security cabinet that got pretty much everything wrong. I went on the company's website, and they show this being used to store medication inside, though it is notable that they have different products specifically for narcotics. And while I doubt any of them would keep me out for long, at least they aren't made out of bendy ABS plastic, like this one is. So, other than the plastic, what's wrong with it? We'll start with the lock. It's an electronic keypad that seems to work just fine, no issues there. However, because this can't be powered from the outside, it needs a mechanical override. And here, that takes the form of a cheap wafer lock that can be raked with a very low skill attack. But we're actually going to ignore it for now, because at least you need some skill to rake this open. There are a couple zero skill attacks. The next we can see, if we look on the inside, all four of the mounting holes are keyholed. That means with a sharp shove, you may be able to slide this thing up, off the wall, and just walk away with it. But all that actually pales in comparison to the worst security flaw. And some of you have probably seen it already. It's these hinges that have exposed Phillips screws holding them on. That means in just a few seconds, we can pull this door right off. All you need is a Phillips screwdriver or maybe even a small pocket knife. Just that quickly we got into it. So what should be very clear is that if you need any level of security, this so-called security cabinet is not a good option, and certainly not a good option for the money. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.